Okay, so, uh, excellent news, everyone. Um, apparently turning off the... I don't know. I turned off... Oh, fuck, I hate that noise. I turned off autosave... Oh, God, it, I hate, ah, hate that noise. Uh, yeah, I turned off autosave... I don't know if that was the actual fix, but I restarted it. Uh, the entire game, like, rerun it. and Well, restart it, you know what I mean. Um, I think things are going to work now. Um, so I'm going to get things set up once again, and then we'll go from there. Um, dictatorship. There we go. Yeah, I think I did a little test, and it worked. Um, I don't know if everything works, but we'll see. Hopefully it does. It's become something of a challenge for me now. <laughs> like all things are. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything's a fucking challenge for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, but I'm going to say uh, arigato, because I am us to all of you for watching. If there's any of you out there who are speakers of Japanese, don't let me know how my pronunciation is. Oh dear. How's this year been? See, this is it. This is what happens when I don't have anybody to talk to. When I'm, now when I'm not streaming, I don't have anybody to talk to about my goddamn self. So I'm like, what the hell do I talk about? But anyway, so what do I think of the year 2019? Nobody asked me. It's been a um, pretty interesting year. Um, yesterday, actually, it was rather amusing. So I was thinking to myself, like, literally this time last year, on the 20th of December, um, I was sat in a van... Uh, with my colleague when I was still working for my, uh, well, working for my father's business of like window and door installation, etc, etc. Um, and we were waiting for this customer. And she took hours to arrive. Like, she was way, way, way late. And it was like, oh, fuck, where, I can't remember where it was now. But it's like, it wasn't until 7 o'clock that she got back that we were able to like do a quick measure. It literally took two minutes, but we couldn't get into the actual property to do the measure unless she arrived. Um, so it took about like an hour to get home then afterwards. And I was thinking, you know, what? I really hate that job. Not that I hate the job, it's just, it just wasn't for me. And then uh, I think to myself, now it's like nearly finished with the first semester um, at Northern College. And yeah, uh, this time next year, my mom hopefully be on a university course. So crazy how things happen, isn't it, really? University degree, I should say. But here we go. Right. Oh, it's going to work. Yes. There we go. I don't know how I fixed it, but. I'm never going to say I fixed it because I don't even know what I did, so, yeah. Uh, but there we go, we have something working now, so that's cool. God, I'm going to have to turn this down. Why is this game so fucking loud? Let me just, uh, turn the, uh, L volume all down. Right, there we go, that's about half. <sighs> uh, I'm not a big fan of that name. <laughs> that's meant that she might be a... Still works, that's good. Right, let's see. Uh, what is it called? Smagger. Smagger. Let's see. Smagger, there we go. We are back, baby. Quality 66, not too bad. Ooh, we do have scenery here from the Aquaria Minor Canyon. That's not bad, actually. I think scenery increases, like, um, tourism. So that's not a bad thing to actually have in the home world, really. Got infantry battalion there. Could disband them. Um, oh, so this is our position within the galaxy. Yeah, 2,000 stars. Hell of a lot more stars, which is really cool. Um, it's about 850 maintenance. Yeah, so our maintenance is a bit cheaper. Do I want to... Do I want them? Um, uh, meh. Yeah, I can't remember how you produce troops. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? I don't know how much it cost. I forgot how much it cost. Ooh. They are experienced. Nah, garrisoned. Uh, do we keep them? <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of them. Yeah, there we go. We don't need that upkeep right now. So, zero, there we go, 5.5, .5. feeling alive. Let's go over to our research. We're going to go for what we were going to say last time, or going to do last time, that is. Uh, I was working on the space reactors, that down to these two. There we go. So the game still might yet crash. 
So we'll see about that. If I wasn't so lazy, I would edit the other video together with this one. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I still might. We'll see. Okay. So let's take a look at this system that we got there. So we've got Tiff over here. We've got Dispid. Dispid. Oh, Ospid. Sorry, I'm a bit stupid. I'll read that right. Uh, we are very close to our actual sun here. Uh, Baron. Oh, a continental. Whoa. Quality 96. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't think we're a big fan of continental planets. Let's take a look. Hey, Garmin. Uh, no, I, I, I want to look at my race. Let me look at my race. Oh, I was going to do this. Okay. Races. Oh, okay. Excuse me, sorry. Um, I don't know. I guess we can. I'm not entirely sure how to check that now. Uh, but that's a super, super good planet there. Like, 96% is amazing anyway. It's also got, um, yeah, a ruin here. Secluded chamber. Gas giant. Ooh, what was there? Oh, that's new. What was that? Firestorm. Wow. Uh, another gas giant, frozen gas giant. Gas giants are super useful. Uh, that's about it, really. So we've got uh, not a huge amount of worlds in here. Could have been better, I suppose. Could have been worse. But still, not too bad. Two moons are nice. Nice to the home world. At least that gives us, like, minerals pretty close by and also can use them as, like, defensive bases, I suppose. Uh, but yes, 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 yes. Let's go to the design screen. Let's go to state bases. Um, state bases. We're going to do that is. Uh, copy is new, create a new one, so we'll have um, Homestar 1, I guess. Uh, I'm going to use this as the space station uh, research station as well. And there's some new components. Our components have been changed in some way by one of the mods. Docking base, construction yards. Oh yeah, duty-free trade zone, that's funny. I'm going to increase that up to 9. I think it's like roughly um, one to three for the construction. Uh, they're not too expensive, and I'd like to have them just so we can actually build things quite quickly. As to whether it's useful or not, I can always get rid of them in the future. Uh, I'm going to have ten labs. There we go. I'm going to get rid of the weapons because they're kind of pointless anyway. Proximity ray, I guess, is useful. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if it actually is useful or not. Kind of talking out of my arse on that one. There we go. Okay. It's not actually that expensive, really, I guess. Not terribly expensive. Can bring that down a little bit. It's costly, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. It could be in handy, I suppose, for a little while. Could probably make it cheaper, but the labs are the things that cost the most, really. Uh, we'll save that. That will be the first thing we construct. Home Star 1. And we'll get on going with that. Oh, uh, characters. I almost said characters. Characters. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, she's significantly better. That is Mishka. Mishku. Mishku Lukadi. Mishku Lukadi. Mining raids. Yeah, she's really good, actually. Well, she's good. She's better. She's better than the other one that we had. Which anything was better than that one. Is that how big the station actually... Oh, no, it's going to be bigger than that. I was going to say that. Like, they've resized that. Um... Yeah, definitely looking forward to Distant Worlds 2. Hope you guys are as well. That's going to be really cool. So, we're going to build our station here. Which should be nice. Get the research going as well. Yeah. I mean, is it cheaper to have one station than two? I don't know. That looks nice. I can't remember. Were the Hagars the good guys or the bad guys? I don't know. Oh no, they were the good guys. What the hell was I thinking of as bad guys? I can't remember what they're called now. Oh, so I should have chosen the right one. Oh. Well, there we go. That looks nice. I like the blue and the yellow. Such a fantastic combination. Uh, 
So we've got a nice ship over here, then a light cruiser. I mean, that is such a good world. Such a find. Um, very nice. There's always an abandoned one that you can just take over. So it looks like it's over here. Um, it doesn't look like Garen. It's got okay firepower. We'll pick it up. Right, so the base has been completed. Excellent. So let's take a look at our uh, research station. So output E, well, capacity is 100k there. Total Empire research potential is 158. So I might increase that by twice. I'll double it, basically, and once we get going. At the moment, actual output is 53, so eh, eh, it works for now. Should start to generate scientists soon enough, then. State ships. Exploration ship. Um, I kind of like to make them as fast as I possibly can. I don't really change much else beyond that. I might give them missiles just so they can actually fight the sluggy things around here. Have they always been 1200 range? Maybe it might be a change in this, but that's quite a good range. Uh, that's very tight. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go with that. Can't really see any issues with that. You. Kind of want to keep them cheap, really. Love the look of that. There's a bit of excess power there. Don't really need all that. Well, then again, I do need that, don't I? Yeah, that gives me the ability to move at uh, high speed. Um, do I really need that? doesn't even make a huge difference, really. Um. Hmm. Look at these guys not be given weapons. Okay, that's... Oh, no, they can. Okay. Mm, there's no point really giving them one weapon. It's not a lot of firepower, is it, really? Are these any good? Are there any use to them, really? Maybe, but I'm going to give them sensors just in case. I think they come in handy if they can actually do that sort of well, detection. Oh, right, yes, I did need another, didn't I? Right, I'll go with that, then. Not big change. Whoops. So... This is new. Usually this is down here. Okay. Build free, build two. Purchase. There we go. It's <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, there we go. New ship captain. That'll come in handy. Put her to work shortly, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tolerant. Okay, let's see. How's that look? Oh wow. Yeah, she she's pretty fine so far. Income and diplomacy. Um... Could be handy. I like how these move in synchronicity. That's really cool, actually. That's very cool. Like a natural satellite there. Defense satellite. Yep, there's the space lugs. Bastards that they are. I think the game's still on sale if you guys don't have this. Definitely worthwhile. Right, there we go. One constructor has been finished. Exploration ships have been finished. Um, okay... Exploration ship's going to go out there pretty quick. Yeah, scan in here. Let's take a look. Okay. What are you doing? 
Right, you're moving out there now. Everybody want to scan that? Okay, you're going out there to build a mining station. That's fine. So what we got here then? We've got steel, lead, gold, homeworld has a tar and incense and silicon. So we're lacking on those. So you're out there building that up now, which is good. Probably want to check out this world over here at Tiff. Well, this moon over here at Tiff. Right, gas mining ships. Uh, you're a mining ship, so you're going out there to go and mine. Oh, wow, yeah, look at them go. Uh, so we've got lead. What's this world going to have? There we go, secluded chambers. Yep, warp field precursor technology. Oh, hello, yep. These worlds are fantastic. Look at that. So we've got chromium, gold, carbon fiber, polymer, and necrostone. Necrostone. Yeah, this is very handy. But that is uh, exactly what we want there. So that's going to... We, we should actually have a pretty decent start. That continental world's really helping me out here. Significantly helping me out. Osped. Looking cool. Like I'm looking for the mining stations. Gas mining. Yeah, we'll go mine that soon enough. Uh, second's been finished. What I'm going to do then is... Well, I don't know. I might not need to sign... Well, I'm going to sign the mission here for smugglers. For resources. Um, I'll stop it if we have all the resources that we actually need. That's not been scanned. Could probably do with it being scanned, really. Um, explore. Moon, please. Just take a look at it. Why not? Oh, is there literally nothing there then? Okay. That makes sense then. Put it on automatic. Let's move to the space for. They actually move pretty quickly. Right, medium freighter. You're moving out there. You're moving out to build a mining station. Put you on automatic. You're going to go build a gas mining station, so you're loading up materials then pretty much from the station, I'd imagine. Yep, now you're moving out there. Yeah, they're not uh, terribly quick, but they're not, they're not slow either. 25 is not bad, actually, at the start. Okay, really good find there. Oh, excellent. Cancelon and hydrogen, very, very handy. Uh, so we've got the main fuel source, which is Cancelon here for the time being, which is exactly what we need. That's what I need. Right. Oh, I think this is the gravity well. Yeah, there's like a um, like an addition from one of the mods, where I think it's like basically you can't go outside the gravity well unless you have hyperdrive tech. Which makes sense, because it's like, you, before you could... Wow, we've not... Wow, what can I see? It's a lot of stars. We're actually very close to the centre, which is nice. Centre being, like, kind of bearish. Abandoned ship, yeah, investigate. Go to vent location. Very nice, yeah. Just in the bounds there. Uh, under attack, which is no surprise. Bring that ship to deal with these guys. Kind of what you do with it, really. Okay. No mission. Go retire near shipyard. No point having it around if you don't need it, if you're not needed. And helium. Okay, so we've got hydrogen castle on, and we've got helium. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we need, really. Right, so you're going to be building a mining station over here, which is excellent. They're going out there to build a mining station, gas mining station. Uh, you've just got that lead. New troop general. Okay, what we're going to do then is ship captain, put you aboard the firestorm. Uh, troop general, just put you on board the planet. Well, just on board the planet. <laughs> on the planet. Okay, so let's go. Expansion planner. Expansion planner. So I'm lacking some of these at the moment. I think we should have Polymer once to get that research state. Well, that mining station built. So we've got most... We've got a decent amount of resources so far. Not all. But not terrible, really. Got gold. 
I might yet find more resources on the homeworld as well, which would be very handy. There's no corruption here at the moment. Okay. Drop some troops. Oh no, I got rid of the troops tonight. Did I get rid of the troops? Yeah, yeah, I got rid of the troops then. Okay. Uh, so once that mining station's built, then we should be pretty well off. Okay, you can go retire. Oh, that's a mining ship. Okay. There we go. So we've got the mining station built. Is it working? Should be working. Yeah, I'm just not seeing any light. Strange. Well, anyway. Yeah, two sources of gold now. Lead. Polymer. Yeah, there we go. Polymer and carbon fibre. Across stone. So it is working, but that's good. My god, that is really nice. So that's what I've got so far. Not bad. Not bad. Transporting gold, Kazlon. Interesting. Um, is that needed at the mining station meant for it to function? Actually, maybe it is, yeah. The Kazlon would make sense, actually. I wonder what the gold is needed for. Might be that we need the Kazlon just to, like, get the reactors going, because it's like, right now I've got no energy. So that's probably it, then. We don't have any Kazlon, therefore we can't do anything. So that's interesting. Another star there. Okay, you're on the way. That's a nice, different icon. Okay. Yeah, you're building there, that's nice. Uh, Winconium Leviosa. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, I think it's like a wine or something, I can't remember exactly what it is. But it's really good to actually have additional uh, luxuries. Very good. Yeah, uh, sweet type of alcohol. Excellent. How much is that worth? Oh, not so much. But it's still a luxury, which is very good. Uh, it should increase our growth rate, or at least the happiness anyway. You can see that 6% now is a growth rate. Excellent. Tech research is going well. It's all coming up bacon, really. Okay. Yeah, private economy is booming here at the moment. Which is good, making cash. It's always good to have some cash um, in the coffers so that we can pay off the pirates when they do eventually show up. Hmm. And they inevitably will show up. Bloody slug. Oh, that's a shame. Been pursuing the wrong path. So it set the research back. Oh, wow, it set it back quite far there. 29%. Well, that's really rough. From like 70 odd percent that it was previously at. That is a big shame. Okay, moving on to engage. I don't know what kind of weapons you actually have here, really. It looks like it's shielded, anyway. Alright. Um, yeah, they were engaging. It was like lasers or something. Pulse lasers? Pulse blasters? Yeah, that's one down. Take care of the other. Right, it's going to be asteroids, which is good. Oh no, these are mine in the asteroids, okay. Yeah, there we go, taking care of it. That is what I like to see. Yep, yeah, your commanding here, repair bonus. 
not particularly too useful. Ooh, Azalea, Azalea. Let's see. What kind of resource is it? Okay, very common, rich strategic resource. Using weapon components. Again, this is what I'm talking about. It, it's really good to have this sort of stuff. It's not worth much, but it's good to have. So if you don't have it, yeah, you you tend to, you tend to notice that. Uh, we've got another. F um, oh, okay. A new captain and boss. Are they both bored? Yeah, they are. Um, okay, that's interesting. Co-captains. Hmm. Fleet Admiral, okay. What I'm going to do then is make you your own fleet. And then Fleet Admiral. Transfer to the first fleet. So damage control, weapon range, military, ship maintenance, saving. There we go. Just so we can actually have somewhere for them to maybe gain some experience from all this, which is nice. Yeah, 6% population growth is going well. Would be nice to have higher, but high, uh, ideally we'll be able to get that soon. Okay. It's got some fuel. Must be functioning, surely. Uh, critical breakthrough, very nice. Yeah, while researching the enhanced space reactor. If we could have that for the uh, precursor warp technology, whatever you want to call it, that'd be amazing. Right, there we go, so we finished that. That is very good. I could upgrade, well, update the... Um, I don't know if it actually needs to update. Well, yeah, I don't know if I need to upgrade the actual reactors and ponder ships or whether it's just automatically there. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so it just outputs more energy and stores a little bit more fuel. Alright, gonna begin working on that. It's not too bad, actually. Ideally, we do have a breakthrough. Right. Okay. A research scientist would be nice. Ah, oh, there we go. Excellent. So what I'm going to do then is... State bases. Manual upgrade. I can actually check the reactors while I'm here, can't I? Seems like it's the same. Yeah, it seems like it's the, um, the same one, so that's fine. Right. Um. Hmm. There we go. Oh no, recreation center. Is that what I just finished? Entertainment. Or is that just what it's called? Yeah, I didn't have one, did I? Recreation. Doesn't have a stack, so just the one will be fine. Yeah, 233 credits for that little retrofit. There it has been completed. I think we should see that reflected. I forget exactly how it works. Ah, yeah, there we go. Recreation and medical facilities benefit. So it just increases the actual ha uh, happiness. Oh, uh, so due to the fact that we actually have the marble. Is that a marble? Where the fuck is this marble? Oh, we must have been in Porton then. Yeah, due to the fact that we have the marble, it's actually increasing the happiness as well. So we're at 37 in the, uh, here at the moment. That's good. That is exactly what we want. Oh, another <laughs> captain. Wow. Um, the triple entente. <laughs> Oh dear. 
So, yeah, that's underway. Making progress on the warp field precursor attack. Um, obviously, the sooner we can get that, the better, really. I need to get out here and explore the wider galaxy as a whole. At least there's a number of stars. Like, the, the good news is, by starting very close to the... Uh, uh, well, I mean, we are pretty much in the center of the galaxy here. We have a l high density of stars. I just love the twinkling of the stars. Ho! Oh. Ho 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 ho, wow. Yeah, that'll do. So we had a critical breakthrough there with that warp field precursor tech. Uh, so that means that we will research it uh, at times three the actual speed. That is just, wow. Yeah, that is a big, big <laughs> win there. I don't know whether that'll last for out or whether there's a chance that it could still be lost. Uh, but that is amazing. That's hugely amazing. And we've got a research scientist as well. Oh, it's all coming up Millhouse. Energy and weapons. Uh, I forget what uh, what field comes under. Is it energy? Energy. Oh wow! Yeah, so we've got a additional bonus there. Time three research. That is really lucky. Yeah, that's really good. Might not have actually registered yet. So wait for the month to go by, and then it should register. I am very happy about that. That, um, yeah, just look at the research speed. So it looks like each month we're getting 2% if it's each month. Yeah, we're at 20% now. So we're already catching up to the medical systems that had a head start. That's really good news. All right, she's appeared at the space station. Yeah, there we go. So we have an increased uh, amount of weapons and energy. Uh, I just can't believe how well that works out there. Times three, and then we've got like an energy research scientist as well. So, yeah, <laughs> I like that. That means that we're bringing in the research very, very quickly now. Yeah, you can see how that's going versus at 27% now versus 28 for the... Oh, is that 26 for the medical? Can't quite read it. Yeah, 26 it was just then. So it's already outstripping the medical research. We're at 29 now. Uh, we're going to have that very, very quickly. Which is going to give us a real... I mean, ideally, this is going to give us a really big head start. There might be a race out there that has, like... Uh, that is really scientifically... Um, focused. And they might beat us, but I think we are probably, probably going to be the first with, like... This research, to be honest. Probably the first. Hmm. Yeah, quite happy. Um... Try and think, yeah. So the first thing is going to be to, I mean, I don't know, uh, maybe, yeah, I guess we'll uh, build, well, update the exploration ship uh, first with new tech. Uh, it's good that we actually research the enhanced reactor, so that means that we have a little bit more bang for our book there, reactor wise. Um, I was considering maybe doing the construction ship first, but then again, might as well get the exploration ship just because it's like one of these of, well, um, Construction ship takes a little bit longer. I want to get out of there as quickly as possible. I think if you're the first in the system, you technically claim it. So that's pretty really good. If we can claim as many systems as possible, that would be nice. Where are the construction ships? Right, you're over there. What are you actually doing there? I'm going to get them back to the home world so we can get them ready to um, upgrade. Mm. Yeah, just move to the home world, actually. Oh, you're already here, okay. Yeah, we'll give them both. Can upgrade them. There we go, we constructed the... Well, finished off that research is very nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. Mm. 
reactive armor plate and Oh, I see. Gravity weapons could be very interesting, actually, because it, like, the larger the enemy in the ship, uh, the more effective they actually are, which is really interesting. Let's take a look at them. Um, completely bypasses both shields and armor. More effective on closer and small ships. Um, oh, so we've got to be bigger. Okay, we'll go for the gravity. That's actually kind of cool. I think we get a racial bonus of having a larger military ship, so we might as well make bloody well use of it. That's kind of cool, actually. We'll go with gravity. Be interesting, anyway. What's the upper mix? Bloody hell, look at the research there, 68%, so it's just pff, way out in front there, way out. Oh wow, <laughs> critical research there for the gravatic weapons, gravatic, gravatic, that's amazing. Sugoi, very much so. Loving it. I can't believe how well this is going. I'm really happy that I got the mod to work properly. That's nice. Well, not that I did, but I don't know. I did something and something worked, so I'm happy with that. Um, didn't really anticipate actually recording like, a video of this long, but might as well, might as well carry on. Um, make hay while the sun shines, really, and all that. Yeah, never a bad thing. Hmm. Oh, down for fur. Wow, we are. Yeah, desert planets seem to have a lot of luxuries. It's continentals that have more of like mainstream resources, like actual useful resources. But then again, these tend to get with luxuries, but lux uh, luxuries are really good too. Like that happiness boost is awesome. Like having these on the homeworld is really, really good. How does that affect us? Uh, let's see. So don't get an extra bonus from that, but I imagine we'll probably get some bonus reflected somehow. It's worth a bit, 1.7. I mean, this is worth about 3.3. Yeah, just really handy to have it all, really. So I should take a look at that ship, because I might actually uh, scrap it and rebuild it. All the I think you get, like, a bonus to your tech if you actually, like, have ships in um, new design. Yeah, I think you gain bonuses to tech if you don't have it. Um... Fusion reactor. Defender auto cannon. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it the keep it for the time being. It's worthwhile having, I suppose. A lot of people are bored there as well. Yeah, might as well keep it. So we are so effing close, that is unreal. I cannot believe how quickly we've gained access to that tank. That is just yeah, like wow. I could begin working on the stable field, which increases our speed. You know, that's a hard choice. May, do I do I look towards increase my energy efficiency? That's a hard choice. I guess we might as well take advantage of the um, adv well, yeah, just take advantage of this opportunity now. Just really ramp it up. So what I'm going to do here then is state chips. Mentally upgraded. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Warp bubble generator. I could decrease the amount of engines. Barely has an impact. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Hyper. Drop a few engines. Add another fission reactor. So that brings us up to top speed. Uh, drop a few more engines. Put a little bit more fuel on. 
Uh, yeah, there we go. I might just need to add more then, really. They don't have to... Yeah, they might as well be a little bit larger. Might as well arm them a little bit as well, I guess. At least then they might have some chance of surviving, so give them a little bit of armor. And the sex is quite large. So I'll give them, yeah, I'll give them 1.25. Actually, bump it up to 15. Then I guess I'll give them some weapon weaponry. Railguns. So two. So they wouldn't have much in the way of firepower, but hey, that's fine. Go with that. Hmm. Give them a little bit of armor as well. At least then it gives them chances five, really. They've got all the sensors anyway, so they can kind of do uh, the exploration as well, which is very nice. Give them some rail guns too. Makes them a bit expensive, but at least they can kind of look after themselves to an extent against, like, uh, life forms. Um, maybe not the best idea, but hey. Alright, there we go. Retrofit. Retrofit. Retrofit, retrofit. There we go. Let them retrofit. Then we'll be good to go. Yep, there's everyone coming in just on time. Very lucky there. I mean, that could be a really big deal for us actually getting out there, possibly before any other race. Okay, what we're going to do then is actually have you... Yeah, we've got a lot of range here. I'm going to have you move to this star system. Explore this system, or this star. So we'll make our first jump. So it looks like, yeah, so I don't think we're allowed to hyperdrive in the gravity well as well. So we're going to move out here. Which is kind of, which is a good thing actually. Okay. Go explore the star. Explore all systems in G10. Is it one done as well? Oh. Um, yeah, okay. There we go, go explore. Moving beyond our own solar system. So our science is even better now, which is brilliant. Looks like we've got the gravitic weapons. Enhanced gravity beams. Or gravitic beams. Tractor beams, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's really cool that it can push away enemies. That's cool. I like that. A huge deal of fuel, but I think the first priority is going to be to um, set up fuel bases. Well, yeah, refineries. And I've got those two moving out there to actually go and explore as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is build another... Um, well, actually, now I'm really low on funds at the moment. But once we actually start exploring, then it will lead to a increase in the private economy. Uh, so, yeah, the private sphere will basically build their own ships and will generate income that way. So I suppose exploring to begin with, if everything's probably a good idea. Well, kind of. Might pay for itself. We'll see. I 
Actually, no, I'm bugging it. I'm going to keep one back at home base. I mean, at least I can... I'm going to focus on building up, um, like... I, I need to find, like, Kazlon. Kazlon's absolutely the first priority. And then what I'm going to do is, once we have discovered Kazlon, is I'll send out a construction ship to begin to uh, immediately build a um, refinery there. And then at least can refine... Well, build out from that point. Um, yeah, Kazlon over there. Almost the bows of the system. We'll see our first jump shortly. Love the way the Hikarans look. So it's so nice. Oh, there we go. Completed research to the medical. But I don't have any credits at the moment, so I can't do much. Colonization is probably not a bad idea. I'm going to work on colonization now, actually. It's a very expensive research, so I might as well get it going now. Especially as we are out here exploring now. So I can imagine your hyperdrive will kick in shortly. Possibly in this position here. And... There we go! Boom! <laughs> Look at that go. Yep. So from like, what, 20 to 1,250. Huge boost in speed there. You're just about to leave as well. Oh, I've got some asteroids over here. Iridium. Very nice. Yep, that's another one out. I'm gonna arrive in the new system. There we are. Boom. And yet. I knew it. How the hell I pronounce it? Ooh, there we go. Ice moon. Right. Uh, looks like the exploration... Oh, no, the... What was that? I may not have the fuel for this. I think I am seriously going to have to go back home with the construction ship. That might have been too bold, actually. So, yeah, we are going to have to head back home. Uh, to choose the fact I just... I just don't have the fuel. <laughs> that was a boo-boo. But, hey, it was worthwhile. I guess they built up some... Well, some skill. Oh, nice. Another critical breakthrough. We're having all the luck there. Absolutely all the luck. Very happy about that. What have we got in the star system, then? Moons. Gas planets. Research bonus there as well. Be very nice. Ice planet, that's very good. Excellent. Not many worlds in here, but still useful worlds. Uh, volcanic world there, and barren rock. Uh, volcanic would be very good. Yeah, um, improved engines would be nice here. They're a little bit slower, but hey, it works well. It works out. I think we're going to build some more construction. Uh, sorry, exploration ships too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't afford it anyway. <laughs> Never mind. You can go out here soon enough. Into the wider world. Yeah, I'm transporting helium. Okay. Let's see. Do I have to update the um, private ships? Let's take a look at the private ships. Okay, now if I auto upgrade, it's got rid of one of them for some reason. I guess I'll give them that. If anything else, I should make them as efficient as possible, but just make sure they can reach full speed, and they'll be fine from there. There we go, power. Yeah, I suppose we don't need anything more than that, do we?
There we go. And uh, we might see the private sector kick into gear now. Maybe. Yeah, they've got money, which is good. Is this their maintenance? Is this how much they make and how much... Oh, right, okay. Right. Hmm. There we go. Now it begins their retrofitting now. So we are going to start to make some cash here very soon. Hydrogen and carbon. That's what I need. Yeah, that's going to be great. I don't think we can use hyper drives within actual systems, so we are, it really gives you a reason to research engine techs, which is really nice. I like that. Okay, you're heading back. These exploration ships might not last. I'm, glad, I'm quite glad I gave them additional fuel. So when they have to rely upon supply engines or whatever you want to call them. Ah, uh, so I can at least jump to the inner solar system, which is nice. There we go. That actually bloody quick. That's a medium freight, so okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to make a design for the actual medium freighter. Let's see. Medium freighter. Oh, so I need... To, I've already got the mine ship. Okay, that's good. Right, manual upgrade. There we go. That's fine for me. Right, so that's another design there. So we might see these mediums begin to then upgrade as well while retrofit. Yeah, they'll start jumping. Supernova. Finally, so we found our first resource out here in the wider universe. Well, wider galaxy, and that is um, a good... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the actual percentage uh, stands for. I really don't. Uh, if somebody knows about that, do let me know. So I do wonder about it. Hmm. Seems interesting, anyway. But it is very handy to have, nonetheless. Whatever it means. I've got to assume that more is good. <laughs> uh, probably. Probably. What did we find over here then? So we've got lead. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one there. Uh, lead, iridium, steel, uh, denaba crystals. They're cool. Over here, more iridium and more steel. So, so far, so good. Very happy so far. Aculon. Uh, Aculon. Excellent. Uh, more iridium. That's what I want to see. So, ideally, this has got Kazlon. Uh, then would be golden there, really. That is going to start to spur the private economy. Um, that's really excellent now. Right. Drunk. <laughs> that's not good. We must be out there with a wider star, well, wider universe ahead of schedule, really. Yeah, 49% into that one as well, which is going to increase the speed at which we move even more so. That is amazingly good for us. I don't know what travel vectors do. Empress. Hey, where are you heading? Go explore this, please. I don't know where it's headed. We've been told to explore G10, which is obviously the sector that we're in.
Oh, I see. So it shows where they're moving. Okay. Nice. At least then we get to see what's going on. I think engine text is going to be one of my next uh, things to research. Yeah, I need to I need to find fuel uh, out there in the wider systems. And then I'd be happy. Ideally, you bear fruit. So I would be very, very happy if you did. Do I make a little bit of money there? Not too much. We haven't seen the big construction boom as of yet. Oh, so you're going to be going outside the system then. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll just tell you to explore the system. Empire's influence. So this is our influence, apparently. Right, so I think everything within this like sphere is ours. Come on. Show me the money. So I really do need that. I need fuel. Uh, we are like low in cash here at the moment, but we'll be able to make that up quickly enough. Um, 5.8 growth at the moment. Yeah, that's nice. Come on, give me what I need. As long as I get some fuel out here, it would be very good. The good news is it's the edge of the star system as well, which is excellent. Uh, should mean that maybe be able to like hyperdrive in quick. Did you just hyperdrive back? <laughs> That's fucking retarded. Is this, is this <laughs> okay. Maybe that was <laughs> quicker to do that. I don't bloody know. Very bizarre. Come on. But that 22% bonus of weapons research would be really good. So I could be like a um, research base out here. Come on, show me the Kazlon. Rock the Kazlon. Please. Ah. Well, we've got Krypton. And Helium. <sighs> Could have been significantly better. Oh, I can't get that. Gra uh, gravatic, gravatic resonance. So that's like an area effect weapon. That'd be nice. Oh, I can't really go that far down. I've got to go like this way then, haven't I? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that was a bit of a bust. Ooh, what we got here? Um, that's nice. Is that like a gas? Looks like a gas. Yeah, it's a gas. So that was a bust. Uh, which is kind of a shame. Mm. Let's see. So we've got all those already, I believe. Maybe not steel, actually. Oh, no, I do have steel already. Okay. Yeah. Don't need the helium yet. I don't have the tech to use it. Um, I think what we need to do, then, is I'm going to put the tax rate up. Uh, it would take a while to actually get rid of that... Um, and in deficit. Hmm. Kind of wish I kept that for re uh, exploration ship now. Uh, I could use them, but they're quite slow. Hmm. We'll see. I'm going to put the taxes up and see how we get on. Probably not worthwhile, but we'll see how we go. So 12% didn't really mean to put it to 12, but we'll see how that affects things. They're happy enough. It has loaded growth, though, which is not good. I might just have to simply wait. Like, bite the pillow and just wait, really. Hmm. 
This seems to be having much of an impact yet. Yeah. It's not a lot of tags. Yeah, I need the private economy to save me, right? Poor administrator. That's not good. Well, we'll have to buy the pillow. I suppose it would make sense to explore in pairs, to the green. I wonder what that light was then. At least there's a small gravity well. Yeah, I mean, this is actually amazing because this is like outside the gravity well, so that would be an, that would have been an amazing place to have. But it means that this uh, this area could be quite a good place, like a port, really. Like a way station, but not as good because obviously we'd rather have fuel production capabilities there. I mean, one day we will once we can actually make use of helium. So that might be the next priority, to be honest, is making use of helium. I think, it, yeah, I think it really should be. So it does mean then that I can actually get out there. Just move to the planet. You don't need to explore. Well, you don't need to patrol. Oh, bit of lag there. That was weird. Ooh, what am I seeing? It's weird. Very bizarre. Oh, something's happening. Is it the private economy finally kicking into gear? Well, we're producing a small ship. So not quite, but it's getting there. Hmm. Cash flow is increasing. Hmm. I really wish we could have found Kazlon, but hey, it is what it is. At least I could probably update the constructors to actually have the superior like engines, like warp drive technology, so that'd be nice. So at least they could actually get out there faster anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it's a big change from vanilla light. Like, in vanilla light, like, we would have been warping around like crazy by now. Uh, so it's nice to see, like, there is more, well, yeah, it, it, there's more reason into the games, like, more reason to actually have, um, certain techs, which is nice. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, just uh waiting game right now, really. Maybe I get rid of the actual tax rate. Right? Might be worthwhile just to do that. So I'm really gaining much, am I? And it's lowering my growth. I might as well just lower it entirely to zero once again. So I'm not going to make that much money. I really need the private economy to save me. Ah, oh, there we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. Oh, God, it would take a lot to get down there, wouldn't it? That's not going to be a doable... Well, it's not going to be a viable option as of yet. Um, I think engines, yeah. Engines is a good idea. 
increase the speed at which everything moves, really. Yeah, I can live with that. Right. Yeah, maybe it wasn't the why. I probably should have spread out the exploration ships a little bit more, but uh, <laughs> lessons are learned. Oh god, it takes so long. I should not have taken the engines off. They may need to refuel at home. We'll get it. And I am researching a, a colonization as well, which is good. Good news is that's significantly cheaper. So the good news is, like, um, we are kind of guaranteed to have, like, the ability to colonize in the future. I think colonization ships are state ships, though, which is expensive as hell. But I would, I would raise taxes if I couldn't do it. So this world's way too good. There's so much to be gained here from having another world. Like, colonization is so profitable, it's unreal. To a point, and then like once your economy basically adapts that situation, it's like not as like wild as you first feel. I might even just I don't know. I could retire them to reduce some of the expenditure, but it's like well, I'm gonna have to just build them again then, aren't I? Hmm. Let's continue with the growth, really. So that's our development, I think, at 105. I may even change... I don't know if you can change home worlds. I think you can change capitals in the future. Which, yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Would you change from the capital? But then again, if you have a, if you find a better world one, why the hell not? I imagine the far, far future. I Earth isn't... What the fuck are they doing? Why are they doing this? Dudes. Right. Go refuel. Don't just make your own feet. Fuck. Didn't mean to do that. Right. Go refuel. And then we'll sort you out from there. So those guys are kind of been wasting time, wasting fuel. So we'll have them refueled and then we'll send them to separate star systems. Oh, Shizer. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Okay, my luck is unreal. Uh, wow. So we've got a breakthrough here for colonization, which is, um, yeah, that, that's really, really, really good. I'm very happy about that. So that means that we're going to have three times the research speed on that. Wow, we've got so much luck here. That is just so excellent right now. Very happy about that. Hmm. Yeah, so, I don't know, first priority might be even to establish a new colony, really. Considering that's something that I can definitely do within the system. So I don't have much in the way of room right now in terms of funds. So I don't even know if I'd be able to get a, uh, no, I don't think I could even afford a colonization ship. Ah, oh, God. And this is the hard part, obviously, about managing early finances. Is like, you are kind of between a rock and a hard place. But we'll get by. We will get by. Forty thousand down the hole though is pretty rough. 
Oh dear. Supposedly you're meant to keep like zero taxes until you get to maximum growth, which well ma maximum population. I mean growth does increase like faster and faster. Yeah, you can see that we are increasing quickly here, like millions at a time. Level larger the population. Like six percent of this number is significantly better than like what it was when we began. So your growth does really increase very quickly. Hmm. And there'll be races out there with, like, far larger populations than we have right now. But at least we have the advantage of the tech. So let's see. Inspiration. Right, they're going to refuel here. Excellent. Refuel, then we'll get you the hell out of here. Right, that's what I like to see. The instant explore system. Go. Refuel, and then do the same. Yeah, they would have got, basically, uh... <sighs> left to the yons if it had stayed in that system without refueling. There we go. Near some explored system. Ideally, they don't go to the bloody same bloody one. I'm gonna make sure that they don't. When you get out there, I'm gonna tell you to go to the north instead. Okay. Why? Why are you doing that? There must be something there that has been missed. For some bloody reason. Alright. You go and head to that one. Fat, no, 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 no. I'm gonna have you go explore here. That system. We know there's not much there worthwhile right now. There we go. Good. Ideally we find Kazlon. Still doing good over here. Okay. Right, volcanic world, moon, gas giant, gas giant planet. Okay. Frozen gas giant. Gas giant. Okay. There's actually three gas giants in here, so I'm really happy about that. What do we have here? Baron Rock. Right. That's really... That's probably bound to have some fuel. Man, that colonization's really peaked up the pace, though. Not our limit yet, which is good. What do we have up here? Why is it red? What does red mean? Unable to colonize. Not that I expect to colonize them anyway. Man, that map's so cool. Yeah, I mean, that's always... <laughs> it's, that's crazy. I love the fact that there's these distant cl uh, clusters over here. That's really excellent. I'm liking the mod so far. The pace feels a lot better. Like, normally I play with extreme, like, I don't know, like a quarter research speed. I won't even call it, like, four times the research cost, which I like that because it really extends the early game. and It extends all, all aspects of the game, really. But, hey, I don't mind. Right, no, okay. You've got to go explore that first. That, 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 that. What do we have here? Uh, we seem to find lots of gold. Gold, iridium, and steel. Oh, she's doing amazing. Energy research. Oh, yes. So we just got the new engines. Excellent. Hmm. Maximum frost. What does this do? Ultra efficient engines. Okay. So that's like efficiency line, I guess. A oh, very high frost. Okay. Lucky bastards. Yeah, we're going to go for speed. Haven't run into any pirates yet, which is nice. Right, what do we find here? Uh, 
An ocean planet. Excellent. That could be habitable. I think it would be habitable. Oh, wow, look at all this. Oh, yes. Yes. Nice moons. Nice. Nice planet. Marshy swamp. Yes. That's what I like to see. God, there's a lot of worlds in this system. A nice planet. Oh, yeah, that is a good system. Ocean planet. Marshy swamp planet. It's not the most amazing thing ever, but that's not bad at all. Oh, God, here. Iridium gold and <laughs> lead. Uh, I don't know what that is, but looks good. Looking good. Looking good. Right, I'm going to explore this. Okay. <gasps> Kazalon, yes! I can't afford that. Oh, I need it. Right. Go explore. Yeah, just explore. Near some explore. Well, yeah, just explore this system, sorry. So, this system, explore. There we go. That's what I like to see. Right, at least now I have a um, center. Well, I have some castle on. Does the game crash? Don't crash. Um, that sucks. I'm going to click and play again. Make sure the game is actually there. If it's if it's there, then we can carry this on. If not, uh, that sucks. We'll take a look anyway. <laughs> My shorts is mine. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, no, you know what? I turned off all save, didn't I? Ah. Ah, sucks. Ah, that's not so wise in retrospect. Should have saved it. Ah, I should have saved it. God, fucking damn it. Well, I'm not a wise man. That one is without doubt. Yeah, no. Okay, so that wasn't there. Well, oh God, why is that so loud? What I'm going to do then is turn that back on. Uh, I guess we'll have to start a new game. Ow. I'm just going to... Might even do a different race. I'll see what you guys think. But I'll start the game, make sure it doesn't crash. So it's going to be kind of awkward if it crashes because we've got auto save on. I just have to make sure that I saved it every now and then. Wish I'd saved it. If I'd have saved it once, yep, when I've lost all that, but I didn't expect to crash. And I forgot about that. So, lessons learned there, guys. Lessons learned. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were definitely made. Yeah, dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. At least we had fun. Nice bit of time for about an hour. Takes a long time to load. <sighs> hmm. Whenever it decides to... Ah, yeah, there we go. To load in just a second now. That's some cool music. Okay. Right, so it works. So I could have had auto save on, so that's me being a fool. Utter fool. 
But this is actually even... This is not a bad world. Mongonium Leviosa. Hmm. Right. Yeah, not like I have a choice. It is even like use it. This one's got a lot of gas giants. That's actually really cool. What else? Nice moon. Well, doesn't have an amazing continental planet. I suppose that is it. No, no, I was about to say. <laughs> but that's the uh, the price I pay. Oh, no, it does. Yes! That's what I like to see. Okay, well, I'm going to save. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. If you guys want to see a series, then do let me know. It legitimately is based on the amount of views and likes and comments. It's like, I need to know that you guys want to see it. And it's one of these things of like, it, it, yeah, I need to know that you guys actually want to see this series. So if you guys want to do, well, want to see a Distant World series, then do let me know. Like, comment down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for putting up with this. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again in the future. If you guys have enjoyed this, please do subscribe for more. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you do want to support me as a content creator, which I would very much like and appreciate, uh, please do consider becoming a patron. It really does help me out. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.